it's rolling. Huh? Yeah, no. Can you, can you go for a minute? I'm filming something. No, I, yeah, I'll do it later, Dad. Dad, can I please have a minute of privacy? No, 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 no. no. Hi guys, it's Axel again, sorry about that, uh, that was something you didn't need to see, or uh, I don't know if you saw it at all, so. Anyways, um, so guys, uh, usually, uh, my channel is dedicated to looking for urban legends that have, uh, other people have been searching for, but I got this, um, notification in my email box, and, uh, what it was is this guy, he, um, he messaged me about something called Jeff the Killer, and I, ne I never heard of Jeff the Killer, so I did research and I found out that Jeff the Killer is this... Um, kind of like psychopath. Uh, well, um, for those of you who are new, um, hi, I'm Axel, and I look for urban legends such as, you know, like Bigfoot, you know, the kind of typical stuff like Mothman, that kind of shit. Um, and uh, what I do is I get a bunch of my friends together and we go looking for them because. Forgive me if you hear my friend in the background listening to the video that. He, he loves being interruptive, and uh, yeah, uh, what we usually do is we go uh, looking for clues, we go, you know, searching for stuff, and what we usually bring with us is we usually bring a, a selfie stick, you know, so we can get like a better view. So yeah, uh, this should come in handy soon. Um, we also got a flashlight. Yeah, 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 and as you can tell, I don't wear the best of clothing. As you can see, I stretch my, out my shirt. Because uh, I'm rushing this video out. So yeah, and yeah, we got a flashlight so we can see in the dark. It's not that bright, but you know. We have 50 subscribers, guys. What are we going to do, okay? My, I don't give you use. And uh, I'm recording with this camera, but I have an extra camera. Uh, and this can record videos and photos so I can get um, some extra shots. It's not the best of quality. But, as you can see, the battery is literally about to die again. I need to get a new battery, so, yeah. We're going to be filming with two cameras. And we're going to go to um, the town of uh, where Jeff the Killer supposedly lived. So, basically, Jeff the Killer is this um, urban legend about this dude who, uh, this kid who was mentally insane. And he killed his family out of a, out of a fit of rage when um, these bullies beat him up and burned him. And it basically made, like, a scar smile on his face and it's I mean the forms or some shit um but yeah um judging from the information we're gonna go to uh the town where he supposedly moved into with his family until he you know and basically the whole story of Jeff the Killer is that he still lives in his uh old house it has been abandoned for uh over 15 years now and he still lives in there as a grown man killing people uh, whenever he has free time on his hand, I don't fucking know the rest, but yeah, he goes around town, uh, killing people, saying, go to sleep, and he just stabs them, so we're gonna look for it, see if Jeff the Killer's real, and who knows, maybe we will die, let's find out, these, please subscribe to my channel, guys, I, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, I get no views, so, yeah, let's go, look for Jeff, let's go, come on, come on. One of these guys, um, Basically, this whole process that we're doing is going to take a lot of work and time and effort. Sorry that I cannot record on my usual cam camera. I had to use uh, this my iPhone, so this is going to be a shot. It just looks fucking awkward, especially when you have a broken mirror. I mean, look at me. I'm a fat ass with no girlfriend, no siblings, and yeah, I'm recording scary, entertaining videos with you guys. So, yeah. Not to mention I look like a fucking beaver. <laughs> uh, it's not funny. It's not funny. I need braces. Oh, God. All right. Why am I supposed to... No, no, no. No, no, no. Of course not. Hey, uh, mind if I get your uh, voice on the, on the video? No? Alright. 
Hey, and if you want, Serena, you can be in the video. Well, the good news, guys, is I am talking to a girl. That's that's a start. Bad news is she hates me. So, kind of kind of hoping this phone would hit the wall. Kind of angry right now. So, anyways, guys, um, I just got more information. Uh, Jeff the Killer is known for uh, only coming and killing you when you're sleeping. I might have stated that in the other video. But I don't know for sure, so bear with me, guys. Um, so, um, guys, I wanted to talk to you about something, something a little serious. Um, I'm starting a Patreon because my mom, she has lung cancer, and... I don't know if she'll make it, and we don't have enough money to get a uh, surgery we need, and I'm starting a Patreon, so you can go, um, see in the description. Just, I didn't even know my mom that much. She moved out of state, and I've been living with my dad ever since. I know I don't usually bring, it up big subjects on these types of videos, but uh, if you guys could donate uh, anything helps, like a penny or anything, I mean, shit, if you can't, it's totally understandable, but Guys, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, oh my god, the bar down. Anyways, so guys, um, so right here, I got a note from my friend. Uh, he stated a few things about uh, where the house location is. He, however, he left a few notes saying, "Do not go inside because of reasons." Uh, because, like I stated before. How the legend goes is that Jeff the Killer basically lives inside this house, you know, where he moved into before he killed his family and that kind of stuff, so. You know, just, it's, I don't know. Yeah. So, here's my, I don't usually do this on the channel, but uh, I got three backpacks. Got one right here. And the other one's over there, and one's in the other room, but basically, here's what we're going to do. We are going to make uh, four videos going inside the house looking for this Jeff. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find him. We're going to try and uh, do a bunch of shit. I'm going to give this camera to my friend so he can film. I'm using a Sony camera right now, sponsored, kind of, not really. 50 subscribers, yeah, whatever. Um... We got enough. I don't know. You guys can leave in the comment section if you guys want us to stay for in the house for a while. Let's maybe spend the night. I can get some food and water. Where is my phone? Shit. I just put it in my pocket. I'm a fucking moron. So, anyways, let's go meet up with my friend and let's go see if he's down to do this. Film shoot for Jeff the Killer. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys when, um, yeah. Alright, so, oh, by the way, hopefully you guys, uh, like this poster. My friend made a film, um, it's very cool. Um, so yeah. You know, I just thought this whole room was fine. It's Freddy steamed. I thought it could, you know, update it a little bit more. So I just thought, you know what? This looks nice. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Let's go and uh. God, this is gonna suck. Okay, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm nervous. Ethan, come on. I'm just kidding, I'm not nervous. So, for those of you guys who don't know, this is my friend Ethan. He's gonna be the camp quarter for now. Uh, but yeah. So, anyways. 
So I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of updating you, uh, Ethan, on what we on what we are gonna do. This Ooh, it was wrong because now, bro. Okay, so usually we go looking for this kind of shit, and basically today I got an email, and we're gonna be looking for Jeff the Killer. Dude, oh, I'm fucking, I'm gone. Dude, what the hell? That's some gay shit right there, homie. Oh, easy, easy clap, easy clap. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? So what are we, what are we looking uh, for? I don't even know what the hell this is. Alright, I'm gonna back out. Why are you in room 37? What the hell is that? Why are you the way you are? And that is a dumbass, okay? Well, that's his puppy. That's your daddy, huh? <sighs> I'm just kidding. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, well, so what does the story say? So this is actually a creepy pasta. What's the narration here? Bro, you're gonna get copyrighted, dude. Yeah, Randy saw a bottle of vodka on the counter. He grabbed. You're gonna get copyrighted. That's interesting. Okay, so. All right, guys. So um, like I said, I got the address of the house. Like I said, it's been abandoned for since Jeff did that. If this is real. We don't know. It's not gonna be real, dude. Come on. Most, start going there. Most, we'll go to a most party. of the, most of the shit we most of the shit we look for is not real. So, no. as I mentioned before, we're going. Wait, you're recording, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, as I mentioned before, guys, uh, the address of the house is uh, two sixty four Alcatraz Street, and I don't know. Dude, why are we going again? This is the kind of shit we do for my YouTube channel. Yeah, we're fifty subscribers. Yeah, but guys, explain this. How does this dude have 114 subscribers? I don't have 114. I have 78. What the hell is he playing? Is he playing Drake and Josh? Okay, just leave him alone. Fuck. All right. No one talks about me. All right, so. Let me hold this. Oh. What are you? Come on. Nice, right? Dude, get the... Subscribe. No, 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 Guys, Saxel, I am making this quick little update to state that, unfortunately, we could not find the house. Uh, we don't know if it was torn down or what, but we cannot find the house. So, right now, I'm, I'm sleeping over at my friend's house, and we're gonna go, uh, get this. So remember when I stated that Jeff apparently killed his family? Well, apparently his mom is still alive, which is weird because in the story it states that he killed his entire family. I'm assuming that she survived the attack, and apparently I think it was a police report, so maybe that th this whole police report or something that the, this actual Jeff the Killer case, that's, ins that's what inspired the creepypasta. So I'm, what if this is real? Wouldn't that be kind of scary, but also dope? I'm just saying. So, what we're instead going to do is we're going to interview the mom. And she's given us permission, surprisingly, to interview her. So, we will go do that tomorrow. I'm going to go with my friend. Uh, yeah, and we're going to go basically interview, so... Once again, subscribe. That's all I gotta say. You are recording, right? Okay. You are recording? Okay, good. So. Hey guys, it's Justin. And uh, today I have my buddy recording me. And uh, we'll yep. talk to you guys about what we're gonna do. Anyways, so today what we were gonna do is we were gonna go to. Shit, hold on. Keep, keep going. Uh, we got the, the park? We got the park, you idiot. We're doing that later. No, it, it's the one house we're going to to go talk to the Jeff's mom. I forgot the address. So. Why the mom? Well, we're doing an interview. Oh, that's right. Well, okay. Because I know you forget stuff easily. We're gonna go. To, we're gonna go ask her a few questions about like how it was to experience. Experience what? Tragedy. Tragedy? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Yeah. Whatever. We'll do that, we'll do that part later, but anyways, um, 
So yeah, we're going to the address, uh, Jeff's mom, and we're gonna uh, touch. You're zooming up on my face, aren't you? No. Zoom out of my face. Yeah, I can. I can see this. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry, my cameraman is such a dweeb. Anyways, so, are you doing it again? <laughs> no. 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 We're gonna cut. The, we're gonna do this later. <laughs> Hey guys, again, uh, I wanted to uh, make this quick little video uh, behind the scenes explaining what I'm going to be doing uh, with the interview on uh, Jeff's mom. Okay, so basically, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go in there and be like, oh, like, did you know about this? Did you know about that? And that kind of stuff. No, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell her what I know and ask her a few questions. But we're gonna keep the conversation very short. We're not gonna like stay there for like hours. I don't know, maybe like three minutes or four minutes, three to four minutes, maybe shorter. I don't know. And that's about it. Uh, so thankfully, uh, I have a friend at a, who works at the police station or evidence locker. Oh, sorry, I adjust it. There, gosh. Okay. And uh, they were able to give me uh, pictures that Jeff drew as a child. And it was these two. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I said I said that's so wrong. Uh, Jeff the Killer drew the, as they call him. Jeff drew this. Uh, but this was from a child that uh, Jeff the Killer broke into. He broke into this little kid's house and tried to kill him, but uh, the kid survived. Uh, he did like a, a little. Uh, he explained what happened. I don't think narration was the right word, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not usually good at these interviews. Now, these pictures, uh, apparently, the, I was talking with the neighbors uh, of the house where Jeff used to live, and apparently, they drew these pictures, which, which is very weird, and they drew these pictures. So this one. Yeah, this one. Oh. oh, my little companion, ah, Bella. Hi, Bella. Say hi to the kid. Well, just cute little girl. Is he? Skipper Key. That's the beard of the dog. Uh, anyways, I'm getting really off track. But uh, something that interests me was this picture. This picture in particular. Now, I'm like, who the fuck are these guys? Well, this dude. I think that is Slender Man. I can't really tell, but I think it is with the red tie. Uh, so I did, I, did, I did like a few more. I did a few more interesting. Uh, I did some re more research and I was able to get these two pictures that these kids drew. And uh, yeah, I think that's Slender Man in the picture. So it's safe to say that that's Slender Man. That one is kind of creepy. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. But, yeah. I don't know who the hell this is. So. I originally thought these two were the same, but if you look at the... They're both different. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm going to go... That's going to be it for behind the scenes. Uh, I will see you guys next time uh, when we do the interview. Bye, guys. Hi, this is Allison. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. So, uh, obviously, this is my friend Ethan. Hi. And uh, mm -hmm. basically, we're going to be doing an interview for uh, a documentary I'm doing about Jeff, your okay. son. So, first off, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to ask you a few questions and we should get our way. So first off, uh, did uh, Jeff show any uh, signs of like, that he could be like this, have a distorted mind? 
Well, he was in an accident and he was burned up, so I think it affected his mind. Do you really believe that? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, second question. Uh, it says here that uh, Jeff and Lou were very close. Uh, now, of course, they're your sons, and uh, I know that Jeff uh, killed Lou uh, after he tried to attack uh, you. But uh, do you think he could have had any reason to kill Lou other than he was angry? Like, do you think he had any reason to be angry at him? I can't think of anything that would have caused that. Alright, so um, a few of the neighbors drew these pictures. Uh, would you say Jeff looked kind of like that uh, when you saw him? Yes, after, after his accident, yes. And uh, I don't understand these pictures because I don't really have anything to do with Jeff per se, but uh, I know you told me online that he uh, did you drew, drew this picture? This one. Yeah. Yes. Do you uh, know what that has to do with anything? I don't. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Uh, all right. Last question, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, did Jeff have any friends before the move? Not very many. No. Is he ever close to anyone besides you? To Lou. I think we're going to Thank you. This is it's nice to have a and I like doing the interview. So. Thank you. Yeah, we should go. So, uh, hi, thought I already did the behind the scenes, but I don't know, I don't really know anything else to say other than I had to go change the batteries for the flashlight, that's about it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for bed because, you know, it's time to go to bed. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go change shirts. God, I need to go get this cleaned. You know what? I'm gonna go stop this because I don't even know why I'm still recording. But, you know, alright, so. Alright. So, getting ready for bed. Uh, I'm just. Yeah, I, I don't really wear that much. When I go to bed, I just 
you know, wear typical shirt and, you know, typical shorts with, with a hole, so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... recording why's the light on oh hi Marty shit what time is it oh hello oh bro what's up oh shit it's almost good time you know what time it is yeah come in beautiful Late. What, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay, so for some reason that's the only uh, highest it will go. You playing a prank or something? I look like a prank. Alright, I don't think we need that. What? Oh, now look. Hold on, I'm gonna go check on my parents' computer. Yo. Yeah. How long have I been sleeping for? Or was that you? Bro. Not working. Ethan? We gotta go, yeah. Get off your phone. Bro, it's probably game solid, bro. We gotta go. Oh, shut the fuck up. I think you're weird. Come on. Get the flashlight. Why is he freaking out? What do you want? I have a closet. No idea. You know what? Dude, get a weapon. Dude, it's not a real gun. Man, he doesn't know that. I think he has a weapon or something. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Ready? Sorry, go, okay. See that? Close all the doors. Okay. 
He's not there. But he's not there. What, did you think you saw him? Hello? Ethan? You fuck. Ethan! Is he still in there? Seriously. Ethan? What the fuck did you see? Ethan, what did he look like? I gotta call the police to do What did he look like? Most scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Ethan, what the fuck did he look like? I don't know. No, I don't. He can't be here, right? No, no, no. No. Oh my god. I got an idea. No. Where you going? Where my friends are? Down there. Dude, do you not fucking get it? I think I know who that was. Who? I think it was fucking Jeff. Think about it, bro. Ever since we've done the fucking interview, it's gotta be him. There's no. Why would he try to kill us? His name is Jeff the fucking killer. I think. I that's a pretty good reason. We wanted the truth and we got it. Jeff the killer is out there, guys. All right. Go. Who told us that it was real? Where the fuck is my dad? Alright, how far away is your friend's house? Turn right, alright, alright. See? Hold on, stay here. Time it is, and second of all, do you know what the fuck just happened? No, what just happened? Some guy. Your dad? Broke? No. Oh, broke. Okay, continue. Sorry. I'll let you continue. Want me to fucking punch you? I'm not even joking. 
Are you on like, is it the time of the month again? What's up? You're not telling me what happened. Look at my face. It's pretty red. Oh shit. Two. Are you serious? Some guy in our, my house fucking broke in. I don't know where my parents are. Seriously? No. No, Thomas. It's fucking Ethan. It's crazy, dude. So now what? What now? I'm gonna call the police. Do you have your phone on you? Dead. I'm joking here. I'm sorry about that though. That's sad. Why are you crying, dude? Because this house just got broken into. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I live, I live on Theodore Street, yeah. Uh, 410, uh, yeah. Dad, I'm telling you. Where the fuck were you? What? Oh my god. You took the fucking camera. That wasn't them. Put the camera. Please. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Yeah. Okay. Okay, who's that? Your cousin. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Now what? What are you doing? I'm looking for him. For who? Oh, the they... police couldn't find anything. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say that he's gonna be gone because if the police gonna find anything, yeah, then... Yeah, it's hard. I know, I, I know, Mom. I, look, I know. No, you don't. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm sorry. That's where she's been for a while, okay? And I'm on the phone with my dad. For real? Oh, my bad. Sometimes you joke around at school about that. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I just want the blood. You want to play Uno? Do you want to play Uno? Just get your mindset right. I know all this stuff no. is happening to you, but you no. need to move on. Oh, wait. Hey, guys. My mom's still in the hospital and uh, recently, yeah, yesterday to be exact, uh, some guy broke into our house and basically I have reason to believe it was Jeff. I uh, watched the footage thoroughly and I saw that uh, I saw that it, it, it looked like him it could have been some guy in the mask but I'm, a, I'm almost 90% yeah 90% sure that it, it was Jeff <laughs> now you're probably thinking okay because in the footage earlier uh the police investigated the house, and they said they couldn't find anything. Well, um, you're probably like, well, why didn't you turn footage into the police? And I, I, I thought that, and before I was about to, I thought quickly talked to myself. See, here's the reason Jeff the Killer is an urban legend, even though I did an interview with the mom herself. And that's because when, when it happened, the mother she tried to cover up much as possible and the police found only a little evidence and because the mom loved Jeff I spoke for her on the phone 
she loved Jeff. She loved Jeff. And the fact that Jeff did that to her family is heartbreaking. And So, like I said, uh, she covered up most of the evidence, but there was still enough to go around this urban legend about Jeff. And people believe, either believe that Jeff is real or it's not. And I, I believe that that is Jeff. I wonder what got hurt, so for all I know it could have been... So, I made a decision. For now, I'm gonna stop everything I'm doing with my other projects, like his, you know, other urban legends, and right now I'm gonna focus on Jeff. If something is pulling me to Jeff, something is pulling me to Jeff, and I, I, I know it, I, I feel it in my gut. I, I, Some evidence, bro, just in case we die or something. I'll meet you at the park. Give me the camera. Here. I'll meet you at the park. Go to your house and go get the stuff, all right? All right. So, he's going to go get some stuff at his house. And uh, I'm going to go meet up with Thomas, all right? Axel. Axel. Axel, where's Ethan? He went to his house. He'll be back. What do you mean? He's going to go get something. Does he know where we're going? Of course he does. We're going to the park. We're going to go to the park. We're going to meet up. We're going to go play and figure this shit out. We're going to figure out what to do. Hey, what? Well, I might have an idea. Hear me out. I know you don't read that much about uh, urban legends, but yeah, do you know this girl named Jane? No. You don't know her? I don't know why. No reason. I was just, just asking. Why would you bring her up then? I, I thought, I thought you knew her, and I was gonna mention her. If you did, then I was gonna. Why don't you just mention her? Why don't you just tell me her whole thing? I'll, t I'll tell you about her in the park, okay? Okay, okay. It's like, How far is the park? Not that far. What are we doing again? We're going to figure out what we're doing. We're going to figure out how to defeat this dude. Uh, who are we defeating? Jeff, you dumbass. When was the last time he was... He was just at the house. Your house? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Here, look, I got on the, I got on the camera here. Grab this. All right here. Right there. No fucking way. Are you serious? Why, why would I be? Why, why would I be kidding? No. What do we do now? We're gonna go to the park. We're gonna go meet up. Why with him? Oh, with Ethan? No, isn't Jeff there? Why are we going there? No, he's at the fucking house. He's oh. he's getting comfortable there. And I don't want him in my house. I want that motherfucker gone. Okay. We're gonna go there. So let's just go meet up with Ethan. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Bro, he... 
Oh my god. Oh god, I gotta, I, gotta get, I gotta get to the fucking house. Where the fuck he is? I'm gonna get to the house. I'm gonna get... The fuck, I don't even have a plan. I get to, okay, I get, I get to the park. I told, I told Ethan that... Fuck. We call the police, even if it's a fucking urban legend, we could just say it's some dude in a mask. Just... We could just say some dude in a mask. Alright, yeah, yeah, we, we could tell me some dude in a mask. Just, just kill my friend. I'm not even using a f I don't even have a fucking phone. I need to get to the house. It's getting closer. Find the phone. Wait, this is my favorite. Fuck. What the fuck? 
fuck is my real phone? Why is it? Oh shit, my flashlight. Shit. Oh, come on. Please oh, come on. Come on. Come on, you stupid. Just, just go to sleep. <laughs> you can't get in. Yeah, I'm trying to lock the door, you bastard. I'm calling the cops. So just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, my... Uh, yeah, hi, um... Someone just broke in my house. 
I live on a 288 uh, Clover Street. Yeah, Cl Clover Street. You were there, right? Okay, okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm outside. I'm in the alleyway behind the house. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm safe, but I'm pretty sure the guy's still in the house. Uh, no. No, I... Uh, 17, my uh, my mom's in the hospital, my dad, he's, he's out of town. Yeah? Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on a sec. This is okay. Hey, um, now, how long do you think over here to get here? I'm getting all this on footage. Uh, I was filming a documentary with my friends, and uh, I, I think I got the intruder on camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I hear the siren, I'll come running back. Stay on the line? Hold on, I, I think something's happening. Hold on, hold on. I'll, uh... <sighs> Fuck that, so you can't. You can't tell them. Thank you, officer. I'm recording this on my phone. They took the camera for evidence. Uh, Cause he's, he's not gonna stop. I know that. And once they see the footage, yeah, they'll, they'll probably say it was some dude in a mask or something. Troy, Keith, and Randy, Norris. The email. Might have just found him. Cause, okay, guys, so in the story, or at least the case, and then the story, whatever, they were the bullies that bullied Jeff, right? So, I 
think I found Troy. Or maybe, no, it's Keith, it's Keith, okay. Cause in the case, Randy was, was murdered. So I can't contact Randy for help. Maybe they know how to kill him. If I can contact them, maybe I can kill Jeff. Cause after all, they, he, they were the ones that Jeff beat up, right? Shit. Okay, so. Google Hangouts. I found him. I fucking found him. All right. Okay. Yes. Oh god. Okay. 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 I need help. Me and my friends are being attacked. <sighs> Me and my friend are being attacked by Jeff the Killer. If you if you can help us, please let me know. I'm sending it. Send it. Send a goddamn email. Alright guys, so, um, so far, so far, I don't know where the fuck So far I haven't gotten any replies and I don't, I don't know where Troy or Keith are, so unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to get a hold of them. Uh, I tried contact contacting the police again with the evidence that I have and all the pictures, but they still don't believe me and I don't think that Troy or Keith are going to... I might have gotten a response, but I don't know for sure.
Look at this. Hold on. Hey. Who is this? All right, look, I put who is this? A friend in need. A friend in need. If you're a friend. You say you're a friend. Right? Are you friends with Troy and Keith? All right. Yeah, that's what I put. Look. What? <laughs> All right. Wait. Just get ready. Yeah. I... Are you kidding? I guess that this Jane person is, she killed him. I hope. I hope she's kidding. Jane, why does that sound so familiar? Jane, Jane, Jane what? Jane, Jane what? Jane. Maybe it's my... No? There's nothing here that says anything about a Jane. Those two little brats. You, you didn't need their help, so I'm here to help. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, fine. If you killed them, uh. Fuck. Show, show me proof. Show me proof that you allegedly killed Keith and Troy. Show me proof. Show me proof that you allegedly killed Keith and Troy.
Why the fuck? Why the fuck would you kill them? Why the fuck would you kill them? Cause you don't need them when you got me. Fuck. Oh shit. Shit, this can't, this can't be happening. Okay, 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 okay. Shit, um. Fine, fine, fine. How do I kill Jeff? How do I kill Jeff? Huh? Tell me how the fuck do I kill Jeff? Alright, so I'm recording again because she, uh, she sent me a message, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys. You need to burn that little bastard up into flames. Now, for those of you who don't know, the case of Jeff is that the bullies, Keith, Troy, and Randy, they... They burned him, right? So they burned him, but look, I don't know how that will work because think about it. If burning Jeff made him become something like that, then who's to say that it'll work again? But this time it'll actually kill him, right? You guys know where I'm coming from, right? So, if they don't believe me now, I could send this into the police. Look, the evidence is right there, right? It's right there. I'm assuming that's. I'm assuming that's. I don't know. I'm assuming that's Troy and that's Keith. Oh my god. Burning him. Yeah. Okay, 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 I'll try it. But who who the f I'm recording here. Okay, I'm recording. I'm recording. I can get it. Shit. Um Who are you? Who the fuck are you?
Tell me who the fuck are you? So this phone is about to die, so I can't show that much, but she just sent me something, and oh my god. I'm Jay, sweetheart, <laughs> and don't get on my bad side, okay, hun? I'm Jay, sweetheart, <laughs> and don't get on my bad side. So, now that Keith and Troy are no help, and unfortunately, Jane is my only option, I'm going to have to stick with Jane's plan. So, before I move on with the plan, I just want to state this before I go on with it. If I die and don't make it, please... Whoever finds this, upload it. That's all I have to say. We'll see what happens. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up? Call me for a camera. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the light. Well. What have you been up to? Uh, nothing much. I, uh... I guess charges, so I should be fine. All right, thank you. You might want this. Why? We're gonna do something. Okay. Right. Okay, here you did it. I'm just gonna set up right here, dude. Is that good? Yeah. Um, oh, okay, 
and said, ah. He said, that camera up over there. I said, this camera up over here. So we're going to find it. I think it's still recorded. Is it still recording? All right, it's still recording. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, you got any solutions on how to catch him? Because I want it to be right here. Right here. Um, what is he like? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Why is he going after you, though? Because I'm searching for him. So I'm searching for him for But it's that one girl you mentioned searching for him too? Kind of. But let's just say they of? let's just say they go back. Why but the you? reason he's after me is because I was in particular searching for him. And the reason I'm searching for him, it wasn't so I could get more subscribers. It's so I can get enough money to help my mom. Well then. She has lung cancer. I didn't, I didn't want to tell you guys, but... Bro, you should have told me. I couldn't ask my mom for money. It's not like... Oh, a few dollars. It's like thousands. And I was hoping that... Yeah, we can go get jobs, bro. Come on. We don't have to be looking for this I'm 16. Guy. I'm not old enough to get a job, bro. But look, I... Right, before this camera was out, let's just try to catch him. I have an idea. What? Shut off the camera. Huh? Shut up the camera, I have an idea.
Hey, Dad. Hey. Yeah, everything's great. I, uh, I was finally able to uh, conquer my fears. Um, hey, do you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, could you put her on the line, please? Mom, I don't know if you're there, but I promise you, I'll do good things in life. You taught me so many wonderful things, and I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. And I know that when you pass, you'll get to see. You'll get to be reunited with God. And I'm sorry that I couldn't be there in person to say goodbye, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I yelled at you. I'm sorry I poured water behind your back when I was seven. I'm sorry for all the things I've done, and I'm... I'm sorry that... You won't get to see this documentary I'm making. Jeff. Jeff is real. And in conclusion, he hurt me and he hurt my friends. And I killed him. I made Jeff the killer go to sleep. believe I'm saying this, but thank you, Jane. <laughs> thank you.
best wishes to Ryan's family and Thomas's family. I'm sorry that I got them involved in all this and I'm sorry that I Best. Best wishes. I'm Axel. This is Axel signing off. Good night. Mom, I know that you're not here with me, but I want you to know that I'm doing better. I just thought you should know that, that I'm doing better and mom, I love you. <laughs> I finished the documentary for you, mom. I wish you could see it.
just go to sleep.